good morning good afternoon and um, good evening wherever you are my name is yamikan uh, jd idris from malawi i will present uh, malawi's experience in reporting under the unef triple c my presentation is going to take you through malawi's status of reporting motivation for reporting challenges faced by Malawi in the current MRV system, uh, lessons learned, and uh, what Malawi has already done in preparation for the ETF. Malawi, as a party to the UNFCCC, is committed and um, is happy uh, to be meeting the reporting requirements under the convention. As among non Annex 1 parties, Malawi is obliged to report the national communications and the biannual update reports, of course, with uh, some flexibilities. So far, Malawi uh, reported its initial national communication in 2003 and uh, reported the second national communication in 2011. And currently, Malawi is preparing its third national communication and uh, together uh, with its first biannual update uh, reports. These two are under finalization process. In its uh, initial national communication and second national communication, Malawi reported uh, its greenhouse gas uh, inventories. Uh, why are we motivated to report? Uh, first and foremost is that um, according to the UN4C national communication and BUR guidelines, uh, we are mandated uh, to report. So we report to meet the reporting requirements as a mandatory uh, under the national communication and BUR guidelines. Uh, but secondary, uh, which is also very important, uh, Malawi is implementing the national climate change management policy of 2016 and uh, the national development agenda which is the malawi growth and development strategy uh, we finalized uh, implementing the mtds2 and now we are implementing the malawi growth and development uh, strategy number three so this national development agenda considered climate change management as among the key priority areas so reporting is important so that we monitor climate change action at national level which is in line with these two and also showcasing our actions to the international community at the same time uh, we are able to demonstrate or show our green growth pathway uh, through uh, reporting despite being committed and registering uh, progress in reporting on climate change action, Malawi is still facing a lot of challenges. And these include insufficient financial resources and unsustainable funding for reporting, inefficient data management and storage system, limited human resources capacity in terms of numbers, skill range and depth, inadequate capacity to track uh, climate finances, and uh, progress in implementation of um, our NDC and uh, preparation in preparation of GSG national inventories, Malawi lacks in country expertise, complete sets of data, and country specific emission factors in most uh, sectors. So you see that uh, challenges like lack of uh, complete sets of data will make Malawi face problems when we want to voluntarily report. Uh, the projections as among uh, reporting items in the enhanced transparency uh, framework. Uh, lessons learned and what needs to be done under ITF. We have uh, learned that uh, to effectively implement the framework, uh, the following are very important. The first one is uh, strengthening institutional arrangements and uh, national capacity as a key to an effective reporting. This is witnessed uh, because this is evidenced uh, when we see 
a lot of countries or parties who are able to meet the reporting requirements, they have a strong and well capacitated uh, uh, system. And also we need to explore sustainable funding sources to deal with finance shortfalls and uh, the need for efficient collection of effective and reliable data. Uh, this will include having in uh, country specific emission factors and efficient uh, data collection methods and storage. We have also to integrate the MRV system into existing national reporting systems. External consultants are not sustainable, hence uh, the need to develop in-country expertise and also the need uh, for developing robust M and E frameworks with measurable indicators in, uh, for tracking progress in implementation of NDC. So Malawi took it as an opportunity uh, by responding the call to update the NDC. Our M NDC now has uh, measurable uh, indicators. Also, another important lesson is raising public awareness. So the public has to be aware of um, our uh, status of reporting and also uh, uh, what leader reporting means uh, under the convention so that we can enhance public uh, participation. What Malawi has done in preparation of the ETF, so far Malawi, uh, with support from USAID, uh, has issued a GHG inventory system and also under the same uh, project, uh, commission development of some emission factors, i.e. in agriculture for the enteric fermentation, uh, developed the climate change management information system with support from UNDP, also established the National Climate Change Fund through an act of parliament, uh, developed the TNAs, uh, where technologies were prioritized in adaptation and mitigation, and also developed and submitted a project proposal for cb to jeff which has just been approved. So it is our hope and belief that uh, the support from cb will be used to operationalize these systems uh, because uh, despite being uh, developed, they are not yet operational. And this includes the GHGIS, uh, the information region system and the fund. So the support from cb and um, any other well wishers uh, will help us operationalize these systems uh, so that now we are able to uh, report effectively. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I wish you all the best.